Welcome back to Decorate Your Table with Brenda. Today we're getting ready for a special celebration, a bridal shower. And what makes a celebration more beautiful than a stunning table design? So I'm going to show you how to set an elegant table featuring a romantic floral centerpiece with roses and floating candles. So let's get started. I didn't want to use a traditional white tablecloth, so I went with this silver. It's going to work really well with the centerpiece I planned and it's going to add a little bit more depth. So let's get started making our centerpiece. So I wanted my centerpiece to be long and thin. I'm using these glasses with floating candles in them. So what I did was I used those as my measurement. I used foam core as my base and I glued on some little pieces of floral foam. I measured how deep my glasses were going to be. For my main centerpiece, I'm going to have five glasses. And then for the guest tables, I'm only going to do three. And I'm going to change that up a little bit. So stick around and I'll show you how to do that later. For the main centerpiece, I wanted to use white roses. Um, I have this, it's like, kind of like a fake eucalyptus. So I'm going to use that to have my base for my flowers. I like the greenness off it. It's not a, a bright green, it's more of a silvery green. And I'm going to mix in some little rose leaves as well. So start with our base. We're going to start putting them in, building up the base. Some I kind of angle them sideways because when I put my glass in, I wanted to kind of wrap around it. I have this small plastic eucalypt eucalyptus, which adds a great, it adds a nice texture to it. I've used these before and they just add a little bit of sparkle, little glass balls. I have this fake baby's breath, and baby's breath and roses always look nice together. So I'm going to use that and fill it in. And then I'm going to put in some roses. With all floral arrangements, it's nice to kind of step back and look at them and make sure they look okay. So we're going to do the next one. A little bit of eucalyptus for here as well. When I start, I usually try to divide out how many roses I have so that I make sure I have enough for to do everything. Same with my other little decorations with the little balls. Baby's breath. Just means when you get to the last one, you don't discover you ran out of stuff. That looks nice. So now we're going to set it on our table. So this is a very versatile centerpiece. I could put my glasses with my floating candles in a straight line like this, and it looks very nice. It has a nice elegance to it but I wanted to change it a little bit. So to change this up, I'm gonna use these glass bowls and this glass, and it's gonna create some steps. So let me show you by pulling out the three center candles. Put my glasses in. And that just gives it a different look. It's just another way of using the same centerpiece. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to change it up a little bit more. So here we have the three candles for the guest table. But let me show you how we can change it up just a little bit more. I've taken off the candles and set them aside. I'm going to finish removing the white roses. Like I said, this is a very versatile base. So we're going to start with some pink. I've put the 
candles back in. I'm going to just play around with the roses just to make sure they're where I want them to be. Never be afraid to move things around if you're not quite happy with the lighter candles. Just to have a look at this. And I'm going to show you another look for the candles. Here we have the pink roses and it gives a completely new look to it. And there we go, the wine glasses give it a different look again. And it's something that can help make your guest tables look a little different from the main bridal table. I'm going to keep with my silver look. So I've done my silver charger and my white plate with the silver. And for this one, I took my napkins and I just tied a nice green ribbon around it. And it's more of a gray green because I figured that went with the, flat, with the leaves. And I just put a little rose in there. It's very simple, but it looks very nice. I hope you enjoyed this table. This is one of the most versatile centerpieces I've made. It's so easy to change up and to change the look of. So don't be afraid to be creative and have some fun with it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions for future table designs, please leave them in the comments section below. Join me next week. We've done a bridal shower, so next week we're going to do a baby shower.